They have regular, ongoing L1 training and follow-up to get people to uh, teach them how to disciple and start churches or groups. Some are starting churches. Mm, okay. So just the fact that it's regular, it's L1. Right. Okay. So, I'm sorry. So would you suggest that in our area for Harm Clark that's very barely starting, that we maybe team up with the church, with one of the churches? To, to become a training center? If they buy it, yes. If we could, anywhere we can find a church that agrees to be a training center, yes, but I would certainly. Does it have to, to be a church? Could it be my office on a Sunday? Yeah, man, well, we're training anywhere, so okay. yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. It could be a be a house. Well, my home is a training center. I mean, I view it, it's a, got a community yeah. practice or leadership community going in it, so. Okay. Yes, now, sorry. just as a caveat, training centers are the means to the end. So our goal is not to just raise up training centers because we are not a training ministry. Right. We are training folks. So when we're, when we're training Hip Hop Hope folks, the swarm team that's there, we've got to be a lot more intentional that while we're there, we are looking. We're yeah. training broadly, but we are looking for the Timothys that we can pluck out and give more time to sure. and help them excel these steps. Hot coals, Timoth Timothy, sleeping Pauls, and Timothy, whatever language you want to yeah. use. We're looking for apes, whatever it is. We're 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 going around looking for this. This is what we're looking for. Right? That's, That's what exactly you mean, right? right. Yes. That's exactly. So these training centers, it's just important to, to make note that I mean I see some good X's, which is great, but our the, those are a means to get to church churches planting churches, planting churches. And the only way to do that is not that we fly in, do a training, fly out, but we fly in, do a training, and we're looking for who are our laborers. Right. And even if there's, if we train 100 people and I find one person, praise God, then I need to give my time to that one person. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I just want to again reiterate that training is so important, but Jesus, with Jesus, it was men and women were his method. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's about identifying men and women who are fruitful and multiplying uh, and, and seeing those are the people that we're going to pour our lives in and get behind and see them go beyond what we can go. I have two movement leaders that I've poured my life into, and they're going beyond what I will ever go to. And the, one of the guys in Ethiopia is my age, and he, I've been poured into him, and now he's poured into movement leaders that are going beyond him. That's how I see this going and flowing. Mm -hmm. And so keep that in mind that it was men that were his method. Right. So that, we're, training is important, but golly, it's about the people. 